here we go. The little high power striker. 94 inch PC. Little tiny, tiny radio. In size. Uses like a lot of the ham radios you use. It uses an RJ45 microphone connector. A lot of guys want to run their favorite mics. There's actually a guy across the pond who uh, drilled out the front of his radio and put a, a actual 4-pin in the front. Well, <laughs> all you do is make an adapter. So right here, this is what you're looking at here, the adapter I, I have made. So you take your striker microphone out. Take your striker microphone out and look straight on at the plug with the nipple down, so to speak. Okay, And then write that down. One, two, three, four. That's what's on your left side. Then you take your a piece of network cable and whatever you want to do. Lay it down and then write down those colors, which would be one, two, three, four. You know, same thing. Again, if you hold, if you unplug the microphone and hold the tit down, the nipple down, so it's facing you, that's what you see. You see blue, red, white, and black. So then you grab a piece of network cable, cut it off about six inches back, and then write down those colors. One, two, three, four. Strip those wires, and there you go. On your back of your four pin adapter, which you can get anywhere, you know, it's just a steel adapter and you just solder on the back. So one will go to four, two goes to three, three goes to two, and four goes to one. Take yourself a good look, pause the video, do a screenshot, whatever you need to do. But again, this is if you were looking at the microphone cable straight on with the tab facing down. That's how this is laid out on the left here. See? This would be your tab here, and I could see the big cable I made, a little cable thing for you. So... When you take your network cable and you cut it and you look straight at it with the thing facing down, you might have like a uh, green and white, blue, blue and white, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. So write them down. Check those four first four with an ohms meter. Test your ohms meter here and then on the end. Cut them off. Cut the other four off so you only have four coming out. Then write down your color code for one, two, three, four on the sheet. So if one was uh, orange and green, so your orange and green on one here would go over to the back here, a pin, you know, your, your pin four. So anyway, this is their colors. I'm using um, number two here. I'm using a light gray to, you know, I can't put white on a white background. Okay, so that's it. You know, I don't play around with colors over here. You don't need to. You need to know what shield, audio, TX, RX, whatever. So usually it's shield, white, red, black. That's usually what you have over here uh, on your four pin. It would be shield. Audio is usually white. TX to transmit is usually red. And black is usually for receive. In all reality... You don't need to hook up four at all. One and four over here don't even be to be even need to be hooked up. Just letting so you know, because these radios do a receive already as soon as you turn them on. You can hook it up anyway; it's not going to hurt anything. So actually, one here and four here don't even need to be connected. Hope this was helpful. I've seen a gazillion posts online about it, how to do it. There it is.